So, welcome back. Uh, I don't know if you can hear, there's a funny noise in the background. Uh, I've just lit up and got on the track with my Enterprise. First lap and it's making that noise. Let's take a look. So, I believe it is the joint on the steam pipe going onto the top of the cylinder block, which is a nuisance because that's a boiler off job to get at. But never mind, we'll have to do it. Um, so that's the end of my day with this engine anyway. So I'll see you in the workshop and we'll start fixing. Fortunately, Andrew's behind with Lockwood, which we may take a look at later. Uh, and he's going to push us back because he's just using all the steam just trying to move. Um, let's just enjoy the noise that's made. So here we are back in the workshop. Uh, let's take a look at the engine and see what we need to do. So we've got her on the trolley in the middle of the workshop. Um, the issue, I believe, is up under there, which is a pig to get to. So it'll be smoke box off, but to get the smoke box off, the boiler has to come off. To get the boiler off, the tanks have to come off. To get the tanks off, the cab roof has to come off. I'm not sure if the running boards need to come off or not yet. I think they might because I think the bolts that hold the saddle on are going to be hidden by the running board. But, and you can see that one there is one of the bolts, but whether we can get to the other end, other side of it. I expect we'll need to take the running boards off. Uh, which, once the tanks are off, are not the end of the world. So, let's make a start. So, start with the cab roof, then the tanks, handrails, uh, dummy vac pipe. Um, then it'll be pipe work blow down valves and then we might be able to lift the boiler uh, if not it's something else but I'll get this camera rigged up and you can watch me very quickly from a distance So as you see, that's the boiler not quite off. That is just over an hour's work to get to this stage. Um, and what I found was the boiler is a bit too attached to the smoke box to pull it apart easily. So I'm going to try and take the boiler and smoke box off in one piece. Uh, let's just hope it comes nicely. Uh, so the the running boards had to come off to get to the steam pipes so that i can disconnect them on the outside uh, and the oil pipe as well all the bits that are connected uh, to the outside of the smoke box to stop that lifting uh, and then i'll take the nuts off to the holding it and hopefully we can lift it but for now I am under orders because we're going out for dinner, so that will wait until later. Maybe I won't leave it propped up like that though. So I'll see you shortly. So 
So I think I've released those four bolts. Three of them, I think, are slots in the bottom of the saddle. But one of them was a full hole. Um, I think we're ready to lift the boiler. Uh, oh, that's going to get in the way. One last thing, the drain cock linkage is going to get in my way. So, just it's got the bracket on the side of the boiler that sits on the frames and the drain cock linkage ran over that. So, if I'm lucky, that Must have been a bolt as well through a hole. That's going to be a pig to put back. There we go. Should have thought about where I'm going to put this. pretty filthy. Let's take a look and see what I think the problem is. So, all pretty mucky, but I think it's this. There should be a seal under that. But what I'm going to do is put the airline on here Pressurise it, see what happens. So I've had a scramble through my tin of bits and I've found one adapter which goes on there and another one which goes on there to end up at a PCL. But because of what I'm trying to achieve, I need to put some tape everywhere before I put it together. Now, just in screwing this on, I've noticed a bit of a wobble there. So, that may be where our problem is. Maybe I need to do a bit of a redesign. Um, it's not the thickest bit of material, but we'll have a look, so. So, I haven't actually tried this yet. I've just rigged it up. We'll see what happens. We're in mid-gear. Just putting steam on the centre cylinder. There's a lot of bubbles coming from there. Yes, I'd say there looks suspect. Also got a bad leak from this exhaust. That one looks okay. A little bit of a leak from this one. Tiny leak from that one as well. So we'll, this has got to come off the exhaust has got to come off to get to that anyway and then once that's off it will need receiving to go back together anyway so yeah. so there we go exhaust off inlet off sort the inlet out and then sort 
the exhaust out as it goes back on. But I am a little bit disappointed with how much air is getting past the valve. So maybe I'll pull the centre valve out and just see if that's see what condition that's in at the same time. So the last time I rebuilt this, I put these extra washers in here because the flange on this is so thin it pulled and it leaked. So the washer was put there as a housing for that o-ring. But I think we might want a DFA. So I'm going to take a look at all this and see what else we can do. Uh, so we will work out what we're going to do shortly. Right, a little bit more. The stretcher for the two to one gear has come out, but to make it easier to remove all that, the stretcher for the uh, pony truck came off and the pony truck came out the way as well. I've released the single screw that holds this valve guide in. Uh, the one at the top I left out last time because uh, it's difficult to get to with the smoke box on. So I am able to do a piston valve removal with the smoke box in place. Let's see what state these are in. Well, they don't look too bad, but we'll see what the bore looks like in a moment. I'll give it all a clean up before it goes back together, as always. So, yeah, you're not going to be able to see in there. Uh, we'll have a look around and we'll get it done, get it back together. So, just as I was thinking there was nothing wrong with this valve, I was giving it a little clean up and that ring popped off the end. So I need to sort that out. That might be where I was getting a bit of pass by. Haven't decided how I'm gonna do that yet, but it needs to come off the spindle and then we can look at that. But that is not great. I mean, it's possible it had come off Unlikely, but I'm thinking it's possibly it came off and was sitting at the end of the bore, but I don't think... Oh, and that one's gone as well. So yes, that that head might be where I was getting the leakage. Um, it was very difficult because when I made this valve, I was using clue pit rings, and by the time you get the two clue pit rings on the head... That's basically the size of the head gone. So I had to be very careful. And there's almost a knife edge on the uh, valve. And the, the heads themselves, the, the rings themselves are what's doing the timing. But we'll give that a clean up. We might make a new one and, and reinstall. But there you go. Just thought I'd show you that. So I believe this one was made of cast iron. I found a piece of stainless to make the replacement from, which should make these sort of knife edge supports at the end a little bit stronger. But let's get a bit of machining done. So, what I've done is machine the valve to the right length overall machine the valve ring grooves and the heads are the right height length just need to remove all this material from the middle now so as i sit here editing with my morning coffee and before i go to work i have noticed that i didn't actually take any pictures or video of the bobbin when it was finished and putting the rings on and that sort of stuff but it did all go in nicely and it as you can see in a moment it is working fine. So I have reassembled the front end as far as the valve gear is concerned anyway. I'm just going to put a little bit of oil in 
each of the steam pipes and we'll see it running. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. So, turning my attention to this steam pipe, you can see how not straight it is there. Um, what I'm going to do is find a bit of bigger, bigger, thicker piece of brass, which is in the drill at the moment. I've already marked out the three hole centers. Uh, and then we'll unsolder this, pull the end off, clean it up, and then solder the new one on. Uh, you can see how much thicker it is. That should be much stronger. So, let's get to it and I'll come back to you once I've drilled some holes and we're looking at soldering. So, this is it, soldered together. I forgot to take some more video, uh, my phone was somewhere else. Uh, but on the bottom, I've milled it flat and also a counterboard around the steam pipe for an o-ring. So I will also put some gasket material, gasket gunk for flanges on as well and then as that tightens down it should all seal nicely. And there we go. Now I know some people will be worried about the gunk going down the hole but especially with that o-ring there it shouldn't pass the o-ring to go inwards, it should only squeeze outwards. But once it's dry, it'll be fine anyway. And there we go, screwed down, and it's squeezed all the way out, even right to these ends, which I wasn't quite expecting, but that's good. So, I'll leave that till tomorrow, and we should be all good. But I am starting to think maybe I should do the outsides as well. But... We can get to them quite easily later on. So when you take an engine apart, there's always more that you can do while it's in bits. For example, the piston rod gland has been weeping for a long time, but I couldn't get at it to tighten them up. So there's actually three studs there. I don't know if you can see all three. One underneath and one each side at the top. I actually took the slide bar out so that I could get to the top two to tighten them up and I've ended up pulling the rod out the cross edge so that I could get better access to the bottom one. Uh, it was double nutted, I'm going to leave the second nut off partly because I've put a bit too much packing in so the second nut can't start but also because with only one nut, I might stand a chance of tightening them up in the future. So, I can put this bit back together now. As you see, all this is assembled, just waiting for it to dry and go off. By tomorrow, it should all be good. So, other than testing, which I probably will do, if I put the airline back onto that centre steam pipe and then... As we did before, I can put the washing up liquid around, uh, but tomorrow, tomorrow. Uh, so other than testing, now that I've got the centre cylinder back together, the uh, piston back in the piston rod back in the crosshead, we are ready to start putting the boiler back on. But I want to test that first. So that is a good time to stop and go and have a nice little glass of rum. So. I'll see you shortly. Now basically, 
that's her back together ready to run again so i didn't show you the reassembly because at the end of the day it's just the reverse of putting it together just or taking it apart sorry except it's slower um i clean things up as i put it together i hunt for bolts on the floor that i've dropped uh hunt for the right bolts all that it was not going to be interesting it was just putting it back together you may have noticed that the front is still open that's because uh, Luke and I were talking about blast nozzles and that type of thing and I've decided to have a little experiment but that might be another video so other than putting the smoke box door back on and putting the blast pipe back in ready to run repair finished we'll give it a run next week so I hope this has been interesting thanks for watching and I will be back soon. Goodbye.